Okay, let's take a look at question 8 in topic set 5. And they're asking what volume of oxygen gas will react with a certain amount of hydrogen gas if both are 300 Celsius and 1 bar, and then how much water will be produced at the same pressure temperature condition. This is one of the questions that has to do with the ideal gas equation, which is PV over NT equals R. I like to write it this way because two different conditions would then have the same ratio of PV over NT. The gases are all going to stay at 300 Celsius and 1 bar. So that means that the temperature and the pressure are going to stay the same throughout the reaction. That means you can cancel out the pressure and temperature because P1 is equal to P2 and T1 is equal to T2. Then your equation simplifies to V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2, which is Avogadro's law. Now, we're trying to calculate how much of a reactant and product is being made, so we need to write our reaction. So hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas forming water gas, and if we balance this out, we get 2 and 2. What we were told is that we have 0.55 liter of this. question is how much of the other two gases would we need to use for the oxygen and how much we'll produce in the water. Well, this Avogadro's relationship is really important because what this is saying is that the volume is proportional to the number of moles. We can rewrite it so it looks like this. V1 over V2 equals N1 over this is the ratio of number of moles of gases. That's your stoichiometric ratio, which is the ratio of of the coefficients you have in your chemical equation. Now, those coefficients also represent the ratio of volumes. So in this equation, for example, I can say that two moles of hydrogen reacts with one mole of oxygen, or I can also say that two liters of hydrogen reacts with one liter of oxygen. And that's a very useful piece of information that we can use to help solve this problem, because if I want to know the volume of oxygen, I need to react with half 0.55 liter of hydrogen. What I need to do is just do this 0.55 liter of hydrogen and I multiply this instead of by the mole to mole ratio I'm going to multiply by the volume to volume ratio between oxygen and hydrogen to fill in this number I'm going to use my coefficients because as we saw Avogadro's law tells us that the ratio of the number of moles is the same as the ratio of the coefficient my units cancel out so I get 0.275 liter of oxygen if I want to calculate my water I'll do the same thing take H2 multiply by volume volume of H2 to volume of H2O. This happens to be a 2 to 2 relationship, so I end up getting 0.55 liter H2O. This is one of the important takeaway from Avogadro's law, and you want to keep this in mind with gases that sometimes you can do stoichiometry, not necessarily with number of moles, but with volumes, as we just did here, or also in certain cases with pressures.